guys welcome back so today's video is going to be a review on the new cover girl clean and matte um, bb cream and mine is in the color medium so i've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on this foundation so i wanted to try it out for myself i don't really own any cover girl foundations or bb cream so i'm very excited to try this one out especially because it is a matte finish and i really want to know i really want to see how long it lasts if it has good coverage it does claim that it's oil free that doesn't clog your pores it says that it's good for sensitive skin and it lasts all day so i'm really excited to see if this bb cream is actually gonna last all day and if it's gonna keep me mad as well so i am gonna sh um show you guys right now it is 11:48, and i'm gonna do some errands today and i'm just gonna be out and about with my little sister i'll be keeping you guys updated throughout the whole day how the foundation looks and yeah, so the first thing that I am going to do is moisturize my skin. And I'm using my um, Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. So I'm going to apply this all over my face. I already did my brows because I feel like I do the same thing. And I don't even, I think, I have a video on them. But if you guys want to see an updated um, tutorial on how to do my eyebrows, so let me know. I pretty much still do the same things, but, you know, practice just makes a big difference. Um, so once you have moisturized your skin, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And I'm going to prime my face, but I'm not using a matte primer because I really want to see if the BB cream is going to keep me matte. So I am going to use my Urban Decay Poreless Found, um, Primer. And I'm just going to put this on, like, my T-zone. And where I tend to have pores, which is right here. I really like this primer. Um, it really does help with my pores. And it makes everything look smooth. So I went to one side of my face with a beauty blender and the other side with a brush. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this product. I got the color medium, so I'm really hoping it does match me. And it's kind of like liquidy, the formula, if you guys could see. It's not too liquidy, but it is pretty liquid. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply this on this side of my cheek, my face. It does have, it does have a weird scent to it, like chemical kind of scent. I think the color is good. It has a nice coverage. It's not full coverage, but it has a medium to full coverage, I want to say. It feels very lightweight. I mean, it is a BB cream, so it does feel very lightweight. So I'm going to go apply another layer just because I do have like some problem area right here. And let's see if I could build it up. The color is really good. It matched me really good. I got the color medium. The coverage is really good. Um, I mean, I could still kind of see some of my redness coming through. But you guys could see the difference already. Um, like, look at this side and then look at this side. It is matte. It looks like I already set it with powder. And yeah, it's a little bit sticky. But I feel like it's not fully set. So we'll get back to it. So meanwhile, I'm going to do the other side with the brush. And I'm using my um, Urban Decay Optical Blur brush. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this side. And I'm using Dabbing Motions and then kind of blending it out. So I really like the finish. Um, if it's a little bit still sticky on this side, um, just a little bit. But 
so far I really like it especially because it has a nice coverage it's not full coverage even though I did layer it I mean I kind of build it up but you can still kind of see like my blemishes and it is matte it did it does have a matte finish so it already looks like it's pretty much set with powder um, I'm still gonna set it just because I am gonna be out today and um, I don't want to get oily throughout the day but I'm just using the basic I'm basically using all the products that I've used on a daily basis like my um, setting powder and um, so yeah I really like the coverage um, because it is a BB cream it's not a foundation so it has a nice coverage for a BB cream and especially because it's a drugstore um, BB cream this is probably like the first BB cream from like a drugstore that I like um, I didn't really like the Maybelline ones and this one I really like it I really like the finish how it's setting on my face as we we're speaking like I'm just really liking the finish um, so I'm just gonna finish my face and I'll get I'll come back and let you guys know um, and I'll be checking in throughout the whole okay guys so I am done with all my makeup and um, I was doing some stuff so that's why it took a little bit longer but it is now 12:37, and all i have to say about the bb cream is that i actually really love it um my face looks really matte it just looks really good um the finish is just really really good the only thing that i could say i used a different contour kit today i used the lorac pro one and it looks a little bit um like blotchy it looks a little bit muddy right here but other than that like the whole face looks really good um i really really like the foundation i'll keep you guys updated on how it's gonna be wearing out throughout the whole day um like i said it, it is now 12 39 and yeah i really like how it looks so far let's see if it's gonna last all day um so yeah i'll keep you guys updated okay guys so it is now 7 30 and I've been wearing this um, BB cream since 11.30 this morning. And the weather was pretty hot today. I went to the mall. I was there for like four hours. I did some errands and all that good stuff. And I actually like how the foundation lasted throughout the whole day. I actually thought it was going to be more of a mess because the weather was really, really bad today. Um, it was really hot and I just feel like when it's hotter, foundations, you know, just tend to melt off but this bb cream did pretty good like um you could kind of see some like oils like sorry my lightning sucks but you could kind of see some like oils right here like on my t-zone just a little bit this is my highlight um but the coverage it's pretty good like my coverage is not bad um you could kind of see like my acne marks right here but it's not like really really bad it's pretty good for a bb cream you guys know bb creams are not supposed to give you that much of full coverage but this bb cream is really good it's such a great um it's such a great foundation if you have oily skin i feel like even if you're dry skin you could probably try it out because like you guys could see it's not like extremely matte it's like a nice natural finish i want to say like i'm not sure how to explain it but i really like it um that's all i could say i really like it if you're oily definitely try it out like like it works and it gives you nice coverage yeah i really recommend it if you have oily skin i think you should definitely try it out because it gives you nice coverage and you stay matte throughout the whole day and that's pretty amazing for a drugstore bb cream and it's not even that expensive i think it was like between six to eight dollars around there um and yeah you could find it at any drugstore you guys could see like I did not retouch my face, I did not powder my face, I did not blot my face, nothing. Like, this is me the whole day today. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with it. This is definitely going to be like my like everyday BB cream now because wearing foundation every day could be really bad for your skin. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be using it a little bit more and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But so far, I'm loving this stuff. My first impression for it, loving it love it love it love it and i totally recommend it if you have oily skin that's all i have to say 
I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you guys want to see more videos like this of me like reviewing the product, let me know. I'll definitely try new things for you guys and I'll let you guys know what I think and I'll wear it throughout the whole day just like how I did this video and I'll be keep you guys updated. If that's something you guys are interested, like just let me know and I'll do them for you guys. Yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on my next video.